33-year-old Amber Suggett refused to physically appear for her preliminary exam Wednesday morning in Marquette County District Court, which is within her rights. The court hearing began with Suggett's victim testifying. The victim said her friendship with the defendant began in 2015. She testified Suggett began to change mentally last November. The victim cut off her relationship with Suggett back in early February, saying she had become, quote, needy and obsessive, end quote. On February 28th, the victim said Suggett forced her way inside her home on East Fair Avenue in Marquette and pulled out a gun. The victim said Suggett told her she was going to rape her and kill her. And if I didn't go upstairs where she could rape me, she could kill me right here, right now, and if I would want that. And I said no. How did she react? Telling me to go upstairs, waving the gun at me. The victim added Suggett acted very cold, showing no emotion. In what she called being in survival mode, the victim talked Suggett into giving her a hug. That's when the struggle for the gun began. During the struggle, one shot did go off into a nearby wall. The victim was able to get control of the gun and dial 911. Officer Robert McLaughlin of the Marquette Police Department was one of the first officers to arrive on scene. I saw when I walked in, uh, there was two subjects lying on the kitchen floor underneath the table. One was on top, one was on the back, on her back, the other one was on top of her chest, chest to chest. Suggett was choking the victim with both hands until police pulled her off and arrested her. Near the end of the hearing, Marquette County Assistant Prosecutor Andrew Griffin asked Judge Kangas to add charges of torture and assault by strangulation against Suggett. That would give her a total of 10 charges. Judge Kangas will determine if the case moves forward to circuit court. In Marquette, Jerry Taylor, ABC 10 and the CW5.